guys welcome back so this video I'm gonna try and keep it kind of casual kind of just chilly chill because I wanted to just kind of share with you guys a few things that I've purchased over the last couple of months I guess since the new year when I started my low buy no buy <laughs> listen let me ask y'all a question okay I don't really see people doing hauls anymore because I guess that's the thing right now. Everybody's on a low buy, everybody's on a no buy. So I don't really see a lot of hauls and stuff going around. You know, I catch one here and there, but not like it used to be. It used to be haul city up in these YouTube streets, okay? Everybody was just hauling everything last year. So now there's this whole new trend of no buys, low buys. I ain't gonna get it buys. I got too much stuff buys no I don't want it buys okay that's the trend now and so me being on a low buy like if I just pick up a few things here and there do you guys want me to show you what I got or are you guys interested in what I got because it's technically it's not really a haul you know a haul is like it's a haul you know when you just you go all out and you just haul you know it's not really a haul. It's just a little baby, just a little few things that I picked up, you know, here and there. Just just little little stuffs, just some stuffs, right? <laughs> so, y'all let me know if y'all interested cuz if not, I just when I buy stuff, I just put it to the side and use it whenever I get to it. Y'all know how that goes. But anyway, with all that being said, this video is just me showing you guys some stuffs, just a few stuffs, and it really is just a little stuff that I bought you know compared to like the hauls that I usually would do this is like nothing no big deal so I'm gonna share it with you guys I really just want to sit down and chit chat with you guys to be honest you know I love y'all <laughs> so anyway first thing okay it's really a group of things and it's a collection that shop hush did with amber shoal now i had never heard of amber shoal didn't know who she was but she is a fellow youtuber i guess and she has this really big great channel that a lot of people love and i didn't know who she was but when i saw these items on sale on shop hush that caught my attention now do any of you guys ever specifically look for cheaper or lesser expensive items just because you don't want to buy the expensive item that's how i ended up with this okay <laughs> now this is a 24 karat gold eyeshadow palette from the amber show collection i also bought these lip glosses it's a set of four lip glosses and in the collection she also came out with a highlighter palette that i did not pick up okay because I'm I refuse I'm not buying any more highlighters I'm not buying any more bronzers you know blushes any kind of face stuff like that I'm not buying it that's one thing those are some things I won't buy because I have a bazillion of them and I'm constantly getting them in my makeup subscription boxes okay so I said I'm not buying those because I have a million of them now this is how my crazy mind works right I'm not going to buy any more highlighters, blushes, bronzers, any of that stuff, right? Because I have too many. But I keep buying eyeshadow palettes. And I have more eyeshadow palettes than anything else in my collection. So y'all, y'all pray for your girl, okay? Just pray for me. Anyway, this is what the palette looks like. It looks just like the box. 24 karat gold. It's like so pretty, isn't it? Anyway, this is just a haul video, not a review, so I'm not going into all of that. But there's a mirror in here as well. But these are the shadows that are in this palette. And so the reason why I picked up this palette is because it's full of just gorgeous shimmery golds and bronzes and just, you know, all the shadows we already have and all the rest of our palettes. But... She created a whole palette of just shimmery, shimmery, shimmers, okay? And I thought it was gorgeous. The reason why I ended up with this palette, though, is that I'm trying to keep from buying the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. <laughs> now, I know this is not in any way, shape, or form a replacement of it, but I'm looking for one, okay? So, I'm hoping this will curb my appetite because, y'all, $125, $129, whatever it is, I don't want to do it, okay? So, anyways... 
she came out with these lip glosses now what they are is I actually used one in one of my last videos I think my chit chat get ready with me using the pumpkin spice I used one of them so all of them look like this really really pretty just glitter infused lip glosses and they're really pretty you guys let me just swatch them right quick so this is what the swatches look like for those lip glosses as you can see they're just really really pretty glitter infused lip glosses and they have just a slight difference in you know glittery tone like gold peach lavender and silver so they're really pretty I love them it's like lip gloss toppers and they really make your lips just look nice and shiny so if you like these try and catch them on sale on shop hush right now because y'all know they blowing out everything is on sale okay so they're pretty inexpensive I don't remember exactly how much they were but they didn't cost too much anyway okay so next I have one item actually that I got from Sephora Sephora, I think yes Sephora now I really have been wanting to try this beauty blender bounce foundation I've been wanting to try this ever since it came out what last year I know a lot of people were complaining that they didn't have enough shades and stuff like that but I was really intrigued by the design of the packaging I don't know and then when I was in Sephora and I was swatching some of the shadows and stuff and I swatched this one and it seemed like it was like perfect for me. So we're going to find out. You guys know <laughs> I always find out about my foundation shades with you guys. So this is what the foundation packaging looks like. It's really cute. So it has this little lock switch on here. And the way it's designed is there's like a little divot here in the container and the foundation pumps out from here and just kind of trickles down onto the container so you can just pounce your beauty sponge or beauty blender into the foundation and put it on your face so I know it's like whatever I just thought it was really neat really cute and I picked up the shade what is this 4.35 W so I have 4.35 W to try and I'm hoping it really works out nicely because I'm thinking I might like this foundation so I picked this up from Sephora okay so you guys know Colourpop had a sale recently and it was a pretty decent sale you know their palettes were like their usual sale prices down to nine dollars from 12 and stuff like that so you know because I know Colourpop has sales like pretty regularly not as much as BH Cosmetics okay BH Cosmetics has a sale every weekend but Colourpop will have a sale you know pretty often because they come out with so much stuff and so I have been wanting these palettes for the longest it is the what is his name it's not even on here Bretman Rock <laughs> I had been wanting the Bretman Rock palettes for the longest time. So he came out with these two palettes collab with ColourPop. So it is the Lit palette, which is this red one, and the Wet palette, which is this blue one. Y'all, now y'all know I don't hardly need no red palette or no blue palette. But for some reason, these palettes had me in a headlock, okay? And I wanted them so bad, but... I said I wasn't buying them unless they were on sale because I didn't need them. They went on sale at least three times before I actually finally purchased them. But you guys, the packaging is so cute. My lighting is kind of killing it. But um, the packaging on the Lit looks like this. It's this gorgeous gold and it says Lit in glitter. And this is what it looks like on the inside. There's no mirror in here, but very very pretty shades let me see if I can so this is what the shades look like inside yes I'm holding it upside down but you guys get the gist so this is what the shades look like very pretty okay and then the wet palette this is what the wet palette looks like so it's silver and it has really pretty silver glitter writing on it so very cool and this is what the shadows look like in this palette so really gorgeous blue shades and y'all know I don't need no blue 
eyeshadow, but <laughs> this one is so pretty. It has that blue, silver, icy, and it even has a nice transition shade. Thank you, Melt Cosmetics. <laughs> nice transition shade in here, so I just couldn't resist, couldn't pass it up. Can't wait to try them out, you guys. But I'm really excited because I waited for like the third or fourth sale and finally picked them up. Okay, so this next palette is the It's My Pleasure palette. Y'all know purple is like the favorite thing besides blue that I put on my eyes. Gorgeous. So when I've seen plenty of videos on this It's My Pleasure palette and I was like, mm -mm, I don't need that. Especially after I got the Pretty Poison. Is it Pretty Poison palette from Shop Hush? um bad habit i was like i don't need another purple palette that's the only purple palette i need because that mug is the bomb okay but this is what this palette looks like you guys ah it's so freaking pretty it is gorgeous look at those colors in there aren't they pretty and it looks like some really gorgeous duo duo chromes in there too so so pretty now like i said i saw plenty of videos using this palette but when i saw my girl lily use it of course i was like that's it i gotta get it that's it anyway you know? also during their sale they really slashed knocked down cut the price on their like you know metallic palettes and single eyeshadows so i went ahead and made me a large palette with shadows of my choosing this whole thing i believe was like 44 dollars with the palette included so that is not bad at all because this is what 24 shades okay hello and I got to pick all the ones I wanted I'm kind of upset because I wish I would have done two because they're not on sale no more <laughs> so now I have to wait till it goes on sale again to make another one because of course when you're choosing shadows it's kind of hard to choose all the shadows that you want in one palette so but I really like this grouping or collection of colors that I came up with. I think they're really pretty and I can't wait to try it out. I really want to see what kind of looks I can make with the shadows that I chose to create a palette. So I can't wait to use them, try them out and see what color pops, you know, pressed shadows and singles are like. Okay, so and this palette is really nice it's really sturdy really pretty there's no mirror of course but i like it it's really really cute now i don't know what was happening with color pop during their sale i guess they really got backed up on their orders and stuff because it took them forever to send me my order and i live in california okay color pop is in la so i was like where's my order but <laughs> you know i didn't stay mad too long because with my order they sent me a free lipstick <laughs> So they sent me a little note that says, sorry, we're late. And I got this free ultra matte lipstick. Let me open this up and see what she popping with it. Okay, what color is this? Mm, mm. Okay, this is the color Extra Toppings. So cute name, cute name. Oh, and this is what it looks like. Oh, that's a pretty color. Very, very pretty. Let me swatch it for you guys. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. I like that color. It's not too bright, not too dark. It's like the perfect just throw on a nice gorgeous lipstick color. So this is a ultra matte lip. So I am mad at it. Okay, I got it for free. Thank you, ColourPop. Okay, so I decided I wanted to kind of look more into indie brands this year. Just checking out what they have to offer. I'm really happy that... On my Instagram feed, I'm seeing a lot more indie brands pop up for me to kind of check out, see what they got going on, because I really want to start buying and purchasing more indie brand products, you know, minority owned, whatever. The only thing is kind of difficult when they're like, you know, in a different country and stuff like that, because it takes forever. The shipping is a nightmare, but I really want to start since I'm not buying as much makeup as I used to, you know, I could spend a little bit more on the indie brands that I really want to try. So 
This one here is from Blush Tribe. I've been wanting to try out one of their eyeshadow palettes for the longest time. So this is the one that I chose and this one is the Munaza. So it's the Munaza palette and look at this gorgeous artistry on here. As you can see it's kind of shim shimmering in the light. This beautiful beautiful woman on the cover. But yeah, this is one palette that I ordered and I was shocked because I ordered this palette like last week, I think. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll get it in March sometime because it's coming, you know, from wherever they are. And so I was like, you know, it's going to take a while. And I got this like yesterday, two days ago. Shocked. It came super duper quick. But anyway, um, I think they're, are they in the UK? I'm sorry. I don't have my information on this palette I will when I review it though <laughs> so wherever they are I know they had to convert my money so I know they're not out here <laughs> but anyway this palette is gorgeous there's no mirror in here but as you can see it has this beautiful gold packaging on the inside and it is another beautiful colorful palette let me see if I can get it to show the colors without blinding you guys but yeah it's a beautiful colorful palette like I need another one of these but I'm really happy and excited that I was able to support blush tribe because I know a lot of people are trying them out and really like them so I'm curious too I want to see how these shadows perform so this is what it looks like hopefully you can see that without too much glare but these are the colors in here so so pretty I don't really understand why um, a lot of palettes are starting to have so many blues I mean I like blue as much as the next person but do I need seven of them <laughs> I don't think so I don't think I need seven seven different blues but I mean whatever you know what are you gonna do so anyway, I think this palette is gorgeous and I cannot wait to try it out. <sighs> okay, another indie brand that I purchased another palette from is Peachy Queen. And this is the Pumpkin Spice palette. Now, you've probably already seen my chit chat get ready with me video using this palette. So if you did, you already know how I feel about it. But this was another brand that I really wanted to try out and just kind of see what the deal was. Now, the palette that I used prior to this from Peachy Queen is their Kush Queen palette. Bomb. I love that palette. It's gorgeous. The colors are amazing. It performed amazing. Bomb. So I was expecting no less from this Pumpkin Spice palette. Unfortunately, I was a little bit disappointed, but I am going to give it another shot. A few more shots, I guess. <laughs> but this palette has a mirror in here, and if you didn't see that video, I am going to link it above, so make sure you check that out. But these are the colors in this palette. Isn't it pretty, you guys? It's just so freaking gorgeous. So I went in, you know, using the reds and yellows and oranges. I think I want to try out these gorgeous purple shimmers and this red shimmer as well. So I am going to give it another shot just to kind of see if I can get it to do what I want it to do. But beautiful palette. I haven't counted it out completely yet, but... It was a little bit of a struggle my first time using it so but just everything the design the packaging I love it I think it's beautiful and if I can get it to do what it do it'll be perfect for the fall now another indie brand that I went ahead and picked up a palette from is she bad cosmetics and this is the paparazzi palette now I saw my girl A. Marie Beauty using this palette, seen her use it a few times and it didn't really click that this was the same company that she was using the palette from. I knew I saw it and I liked it but not until later I was like oh that's that same palette that I ordered. So I went ahead and ordered this and sorry I don't, it was really inexpensive though. I think it was like maybe 20 bucks shipping was really cheap so I'm like 
let me go ahead and try it out another indie brand you know um minority owned business and and all that good stuff so i went ahead and ordered this and it's a really pretty palette as you can see there's some gorgeous colors in here you know basically everything that you need to create you know a colorful look or a simple everyday look just really pretty so i can't wait to try this out as well very very nice let me give you a close-up look so this is what these colors look like up close of course you know i'm really really curious about that pineapple crush the malibu and the summer splash so i think this is a perfect addition to my collection for the spring and summer coming up really excited about it now with all the BH cosmetic sales going on I really haven't been indulging first of all I have a whole plethora of BH cosmetics palettes that I really do not use I don't take advantage of them so whenever their sales come around I try to just look the other way because <laughs> I'm like nah I don't know, buy no more BH B H Cosmetics palettes because you got too many already. Now the brushes, don't let their brushes go on sale because you know your girl's gonna scoop some up, okay? But I went ahead and got this Zodiac Love Signs palette. I have the original Zodiac palette in my collection. Y'all, I have used that palette one time and that palette is the bomb, okay? It is gorgeous. When I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, this palette is bomb. So I went ahead, broke down, got the Zodiac love signs palette and i need to use this because um i'm really curious to see if this palette is just as good just as nice as the original zodiac it is gorgeous you guys look at this oh my gosh isn't that pretty just the whole coloring just the whole look of it is beautiful okay so there is a mirror in here as you can see let me go ahead and flip that back but these are the colors in this palette and the reason why I'm holding it like at an angle is so that you know you can really get a better idea of the colors without all the glare um, I did turn my light down some just so you can see these shadows a little bit better so I hope that helps but yes absolutely gorgeous and this is what she looks like inside isn't she pretty isn't she pretty oh my goodness Sagittarius Cancer Leo which is what I am and Gemini <laughs> Aquarius you know so there's so many gorgeous colors in here y'all I can't wait to play with this this is going to be great for spring I cannot wait okay and lastly I only have two more palettes you guys <laughs> this was ridiculous I have a whole haul of palettes I bought one foundation and some lip glosses and everything else is palettes. <sighs> okay, I bought two palettes from Amazon. You know, I'm always on Amazon buying all kind of stuff, just anything, okay? And, you know, it just makes it easy to just throw some makeup items in your order. <laughs> so, I did order this Delancey Nocturne eyeshadow palette. Look at that. It's kind of matching my background, huh? Kind of cute. Anyway. So I did order this. I've seen a bazillion people on YouTube use this palette, try it out, test it out, and they all say it's really, really good. Now, the one person that I saw use this and, I, and it made me buy it was Tammy, okay? I don't It's her channel Makeup by Tammy, Tammy Makeup, something like that. Y'all know who I'm talking about. So she used this palette and the look she created with this palette, you guys, it has a matching sleeve. The look she created with this palette, ugh. It made me log on to Amazon right then, okay? So it has a huge mirror in this palette, as you can see, almost the size of the palette. And these are the colors that are in this palette. Gorgeous. And, you know, I'm really not into, like, the pressed glitters and stuff in a palette. I love glitter. I have a whole <laughs> collection of glitter, but... I don't buy palettes for the glitter so this whole row right here is really irrelevant to me but the rest of the palette which if you watched my Papa Blue video 
<laughs> you can easily see why this palette got me, okay? It definitely has the whole pop of blue effect going on in this palette. I will link that above too if you want to watch it. But, okay, and so the last palette that I purchased is one that I just saw this last week on Amazon. I had never seen it before. I'm pretty sure, I'm absolutely sure that this is from China. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, all the writing on it is in Chinese, okay? I can't read it. I don't know what it says. It could say it's going to burn my eyeballs off. I don't even know because it's in Chinese, okay? But it was pretty, so I bought it. So anyways, it's called Cageling Aaron. Aaron, yes. You know, they always have weird names for a lot of their palettes and stuff that come from John come from China that don't have a brand name attached to it so it's called Cageling and I thought it was cute because it has this little like you know how they used to do back in the day when they would seal something with wax and then press their stamp in it and I just like the whole design of this packaging I thought it was cute but this is what the actual palette looks like so there's a gorgeous bird cage on there as you can see it kind of the bird's tails kind of shimmer a little bit, but I just thought it was a really unique design. Just really unique packaging. It has these gorgeous birds on the back. Oh, there's some English on here. <laughs> I can't tell you what it says unless I put my glasses on, but there's some English on the back, so I feel better. But anyway, so the packaging is just really cute. I like it. And it opens up like this, you guys. You see this little tab here? And it just opens up like that and those are the colors in here isn't it pretty so when I saw it pop up on Amazon I, I'm assuming it's new because I've never seen it before but I just thought it was pretty and I couldn't resist it of course pop a blue <laughs> so this is what it looks like up close though very pretty same shades same colors that I have in a million other palettes but look at the names they're so cute they have bird names I like it I like this it. is definitely something that I bought because of the packaging because of the theme just the overall look of it and uniqueness of it you know so many palettes are just so similar to everything else I just thought this was so cute so anyway <laughs> They got me. Amazon got me with the little cute little Chinese palette. But I'm going to try it out though because I think it's cute. I don't know. I might not try it out. I might just keep it because I like the packaging. But anyway, so that's the last item that I got in my little shopping that I've done over the last couple of months. I'm not going to say haul because I want a low buy. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!